Hi everyone, today I'm going to try to answer a very straightforward question. Does the wireless bit of a WaveBird controller add any lag? Let's go. A lot of times people test lag by having a setup with a very high speed camera and they press a button and then it films the screen at the same time. You may have seen this. And then they count the number of frames that change on the screen. Now that's a very good way to test sort of overall end to end system lag, but I wanna test just the controller. And a frame is 16 milliseconds. And I suspect that this WaveBird will add lag, but not much. So I need a very fine grained solution that will tell me down to the millisecond. So I'm gonna use the Mr. Lag Test Controller System. This is a homebrew project that was championed by Pork Chop Express from Mr. Add-ons. And I made a whole technical video about this, but I'll give you the really quick summary now. Basically use an Arduino and a custom Mr. Core, and you wire the Arduino into the controller. So it fires off a button press. The controller talks to the Mr. The Mr. gets that information and then sends it back out the general I.O. port back into the Arduino and it gets a round trip time and you can get very accurate down to the millisecond lag latency for just the controller. The very clever amongst you may have worked out the problem with this plan is that the GameCube controller doesn't use USB. It uses the GameCube controller, you know, the, that plug there that plugs into the cube. So to get around this, what I've got is a USB to GameCube adapter. So I can plug my GameCube adapter in here and it has USB on the end. And I've got two of them. This is a this is the original, the Wii U one. This is the knockoff AliExpress one. Uh, so I've got two sample points. And the first thing I'm gonna do is run the tests with just a regular wired controller. This will give me a baseline. Essentially, I'll work out well, first of all, I'm working out what's the lag in this and the lag in this thing. And then secondly, I can do the same test, but with the WaveBird, do a little simple bit of mathematics. And from that, I can determine what is the lag of the WaveBird controller. So I was able to test the wired controller and that worked. And that was with the AliExpress adapter. But then I went to the Wii U official adapter and it didn't work. I could not make the Wii U adapter work with the Mr. at all. I gotta look into this, it's just a thing. So doesn't matter, I've still got one adapter to use. I wired in the controller, let the system do its testing. It did 3000 turns, it fires off a button press, receives the input, fires off a button press 3000 times. And it came out that the average latency was 4.2 milliseconds for the wired controller. So remember a frame is 16.6. And remember, this is the latency of the adapter and the controller. The controller really is lag free because it hasn't got any sort of buffer or something like that in there. The WaveBird results are in and it's 9.44 milliseconds on average. So again, comparing that to the wired result, so that means the WaveBird added 5.22 extra milliseconds of lag. This test has shown that in this environment, the WaveBird adds five milliseconds of lag to your input chain. So it adds a third of a frame of lag. In my humble opinion, that doesn't matter. One third of a frame doesn't matter, but I don't want to offend you smash bros out there. You guys are crazy about that stuff. And I'd love to hear your input. Do you think this would make, I don't think it makes a difference. I imagine one, if you are only at the at top level, are you dealing with a frame at some stages to think that one third of a frame of input is going to make a difference to your game? I can only imagine in Melee that that is something that only works at the upper, the very, very few upper echelons. But tell me about it in the comments. Is this a thing? The WaveBird is reliable. 
It's good. If you just want to use it, don't worry about it. There is no extra lag added. A third of a frame in this test, in this environment. Do you think that makes a difference on the GameCube? Maybe we're at the end of a frame and then it's going to push it into the next frame. And that's the time that I'm going to be doing the Diego parry it exactly it. Is that it? I don't know. I'm not a professional fighting games person. So let me know in the comments your thought on this. Thank you very much. This is just a simple test. I'm just fooling around. It's a Friday afternoon. And it was just sort of one thing in my mind that I always wanted to try out. Please like and subscribe. This is Zez Retro. I little do a little lot of dumb stuff like this. I'm going to see you next time. Thanks for watching.